Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it's a mixture. I think that Andrew Barry did not do well enough getting better defensive tackles in here. They didn't do well enough. They didn't draft well enough, and those guys aren't playing well enough. I think he deserves credit uh, for, for the issue, too. I think Joe Woods could do some five-man front stuff, can do some different things. They're not tackling well enough. It is not what you want to hear, but it is a mixture of things. Players not doing what they're paid to do. Coaches not figuring out alternative solutions, but there could be none there. But they're also not doing crazy different things. Not They're not ripping a Band-Aid off and playing a bare front, going crazy man-to-man, just doing – they're not doing that. And, like – they, they didn't do well enough as a front office to, to get better players in the interior. So like they, they, they would be five and zero if one group steps up, if like one mm-hmm. group steps up, they could, they do, they would be five and zero if one group, if the secondary came to really play at the beginning of the year, right. They'd be five and zero. if the defense the run defense came to play the last two weeks, they'd be five and zero. Jacoby Brissett didn't have a couple fourth quarter turnovers in, in a couple of these games. They'd have a chance to be five and zero. Like, that's it. And Kevin Stefanski has not helped. And ultimately, I'm a huge Stefanski defender. I'm huge. You guys know it. I really like him. And I do appreciate his approach and level-headedness in times of chaos. I really do. But at times, you have to change your course. You have to stand up for team for people on your team. You have to hold people accountable that need to be held accountable. You have to do that because at the end of the day, we can all sit here and argue until our faces are pink about who's to blame, who's to blame, who's to blame. It eventually you can't fire players right now, but you can fire people that that, that coach the players. That's just how it goes. So those people are who this is in the lap of. Eventually, it goes to Joe Woods. It goes to Prefer. It goes to to, to Howard, the DBs coach. I mean, who the Heck, the linebacker coach is, but it's his involvement too. The 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 what's his name? Um, Kiffin up front, the defensive yeah. line coach. It lands in their lap, and if those guys aren't getting it done, and you can't get your coaches to get it done, who does it eventually come back to? Kevin, yeah. it just yeah. does. It's your guys, man. It's your guys. So you either can get it done or you can't. So that's the thing. He can either get it done or he can't. And if Kevin needs to spend more time, if he needs to spend more time coaching the defense and helping Joe figure this out and leave it to AVP, then he's going to have to do it. Okay. Because they're up against it. They're two and three. They're two and three with brutal games coming, brutal yep. games coming. The, the Patriots yep. just beat the snot out of a Lions team that's been scoring 40 on people. They shut them out mm-hmm. as last I checked. So, I, it just is what it is. Now, I don't know that anyone's going to get fired, but who's responsible? That's what we're asking for. You, people want to know when stuff like this happens, you want to know who's responsible. Everybody is responsible. And it does ultimately from ownership. You got to ask if I can't pinpoint, if I can't fire that linebacker coach, if I can't fire that defensive coordinator, if I can't fi- if I can't cut that guy right there, if I can't cut that defensive tackle right now, someday the bill comes due. And the bill will come due with someone's importance job. Could be Kevin, could be Joe Woods, could be something. The bill will come due. It will come due. And it's, 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 you cannot, the way they've lost these three games. And I, again, I support Kevin, but his guys are undisciplined. His guys are mm-hmm. undisciplined. John Johnson had no fear of Kevin Stefanski on that blind side block, which was very questionable. Not here to argue that. He had no fear of Kevin Stefanski talking to the ref and walking by and cussing or saying whatever he said for that ref to throw the flag. No yep. fear of any repercussion for him. None. Yep. He had no fear of it. He said it in front of you. You see Kevin look at him and go, John. He literally yep. said it on the telecast. You could yep. see it. And there was nothing done. There is yep. nobody there to take his job. He can just do what he wants. I can mm-hmm. get away with this lazy effort on film because there's no one to take my job. Now, again, is that mean? does that mean they need to just throw in the, the, the Anthony Bells of the world? Or does that mean they didn't bring in enough talent to push these guys who should be being pushed for their job, but they think they can get away with bad t- tape, Denzel Ward, bad tape, lazy efforts, John Johnson cussing somebody out, getting 15-yard penalties. Like, they think they can get away with it. So – Ultimately, guys, these are paid actors. They're on Sunday. They're paid actors. They're just, they're paid <laughs> actors. That's what they are. And some are better at it than others. And these guys are just not, they're, they're collectively, I'm talking like from every angle, from, from Andrew Barry leading the personnel department down, they're not getting, there's, there's, like I said, there are about seven people I can, maybe eight, that I can sit here and say, they're really not a problem. They've done everything they're supposed to do this year. Nick Chubb. 
been fantastic. Kareem Hunt, I think he's been pretty dang fantastic. Mm-hmm. I think the offensive line has been pretty good. Jed has had some issues, so you could take away one. But the O-line's been really good. They've been really good. They've, they've, oh, they've done everything they're supposed to do. Very minimal sacks, run lanes, creating it. They're doing their job. And I thought David Njoku's had a great two or three weeks. Mm-hmm. Great two or three weeks. But that's it, brother. I could pinpoint every single other person and say, hey, Delpit, John, Denzel, JOK, Miles, Clowney. My, and again, Miles, it's car accident. It sucks. But you're, going, you're risking it. You're going 60, yeah. 70 miles per hour down a back road. You're risking it. You just are risking it. You just, and it's an accident. It's not called it on purpose. I don't think he went out there with the idea of, man, I want to flip this SOB and land in a ditch. But <laughs> that's, that's it. If you're willing to go 70 miles per hour down Country Road in Medina, that's the risk. So, like, I just, just like you guys, I'm like you. I cover the team. I try to stay unbiased. I do. I love the Cleveland Browns. I grew up a Cleveland Browns fan. It's in my heart. I started doing it because I love this football team. Now, you yep. want to, uh, sometimes you want to get your coverage from someone who's not going to have a bias. I fight like hell to not have a bias. I think, Barry, you can back me up on this, man. I really try. I, I, sure. I try to remove myself, but I want them to win. You're mad and yelling at the TV. I'm mad and yelling at the TV. I punch my chair because it messes with the OBR's bottom line because you guys care more when they win. And we want them to win. We want them to win. And when this stuff happens, it's so frustrating. It is so GD frustrating to watch it happen. And I think to myself, and I've thought this a couple times this year because they're challenging me. I'm 33 now. I'm not 25. I'm not 16 watching anymore. I'm 33 with two kids and a wife. And I put a lot of stress on my wife to do this on Sundays. And I put a lot of stress on not spending time with my kids. And I thought to myself today, could I put this energy somewhere else? Is this team giving me back what I'm giving it? And that Mm -hmm. is, that's hard. I'm so tired of it. I'm so I'm just, I'm tired of it. So I'm going to keep doing what I do. I'm going to keep covering them and all that stuff. But like when the thought is creeping into your head, what is the point of this? Why do I, why do I put myself into a Sunday? Why, why they make us do that. They make us do that. So, you know, I'm, I, I try to stay level-headed. I come on pods and shows and all these, and I, I talk great. But I, you got you to gotta trust me, brothers uh, and sisters. I'm mad. I'm mad the same way you're mad. I want these guys to win a Super Bowl. I want to celebrate that with my dad who's in his 60s. I want to do the things you want to do, man. Like, I want to do that stuff. And it's just like, it's just, it sucks. It sucks that we don't get the same level of, 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 of reciprocation of feelings that the way that, that New England Patriots fans have received over the last 20 years. We fan the same way they do. We put our money the same place as they do, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers organization, all these others. We do it. We do it. Why don't we get it back? It's just, it's tiring. It's so tiring. And you should be mad at anyone you want to be mad at. And there's no wrong answer. So I'm um, shut up. But like, I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of it. I'm just tired of it. I'll shut up. Sorry.